No, you rats. Why did you use that? I told you to do protection. <gasps> did he just do a little... Bye, it's over. And kids, meet the newest addition to the family. We have a little purple room. Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Not So Berry. I think we're 25 episodes into this gen now, which is just absolutely wild. However, I feel like there's a lot to do for this gen, so I'm happy just to take things a little bit slower. I have been doing some bits whilst we've been away. <laughs> On Rain's massive arms. There's a lot of space to work with here. It's a huge canvas, if you will. I've added a wolf tattoo for no particular reason. Don't know what you guys are talking about. What do you mean? Also, I gave him some tattoos on his other side as well, just because I feel like it matches his aesthetic and I kind of like it. I'm sort of missing his hair and his face that he used to have before. So I may revert back to that at some point. Wait, what are you doing? You're trolling the forums. Let's not do that. One thing that you guys suggested, which I really liked, is maybe he could start writing some songs. You know, that would be a nice and productive thing to do. I think he needs to up his writing skill a little bit for that, though. His guitar is at level six, and his writing is level one. Okay, we're a little bit off being able to write then. Actually, to write songs, you only need the guitar ability. Okay, why don't you be a bit more productive instead of trolling the forums? Why don't you try um, practicing your guitar? We also have little Val at home. She's having a go at her big brother's science kit, which I love. I guess he can't use this anymore because he's now a teenager. When Val was younger, the only person she wanted hugs from was Bowen. And you guys really like the idea of these keeping like a really close sibling relationship. So I'm definitely going to do that. I think the fact that she's taken an interest in science is going to definitely help because Bowen really likes science as well. Although he's also not having the best day of school. It's his first day at middle school. He's a preteen and he's not having the best of time. Iris also apparently not having a good time. She's angrily writing in her journal. Journal. She is enraged. She's not okay. She's having a mood swing. She's inexplicably enraged. It's tough being a teen sometimes. It totally is. But she did productively try and help that by writing in her journal. And we have stars on three of our character values. So if she ages up, which she's actually not going to do for another four days. But if she did, then we would be able to complete part of Liv's lifetime aspiration. Just have a child with three positive character values. Liv, who's a bit stinky right now, which is rare for Liv. Oh my gosh, please get a shower. Oh my gosh, are both of my teenagers going through phases? I just watched you doing the walk as well. Oh my gosh, all my teenagers. I'm in a house with two teenagers and both of them having mood swings. This is difficult. This is a tough time. You just want to run and rave to somebody. But more than that, you want to mop a puddle because you are such a nice kid. Like, literally, look at this child. This child is so freaking nice. You're quite bored right now. Your brother's not using his PC. Why don't you use an opportunity to play some video games or something? I'm sure he'll let you. Although, Rain actually has some jealousy towards Bowen because Rain and his father... Like, his father didn't originally want Rain, didn't want kids, kind of felt a bit pressured into it. And as a result, they have, like, a little bit of a spicy relationship, but, like, they don't really get on that well. They've got better as they've got older, but there's always going to be a little bit of underlying tension there because of Rain's childhood. Whereas Bowen always got on, like, so well with his dad. His dad really doted on him, which is kind of awkward because it's not actually his dad. So I don't know if he would let him play with his video games, actually. I don't think he would allow that. You might have to play video games here instead if you want to play them. And I've invited somebody around one of, like, Gordon's political friends around because he needs to make five good friends. I also need to try and successfully advise and influence the life of other sims. So I'm going to keep trying to do that. So it's just like, I think promoting cause counts for that, which is super helpful. <gasps> and oh my gosh, he has a pristine reputation. Wow. And like discuss expanding the family, just like all of these things. And then I always ask for a campaign donation as well. So hopefully we'll get quite a lot out of this harmony sim here. Actually, neither of those interactions did help. I don't know why I thought they did last time. <laughs> and oh my gosh, Gordon is an elder in two days. I am so not ready for, like, these guys to become elders. I really don't want it to happen. Liv has three days left. Oh, no. I really don't want this. I really, really don't want this. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I don't know whether to get them. Like, I don't want to reset their age right back to the beginning of adulthood. But I would really like them to have a few more days, you know? Kids are in homework club. I'm going to help our little Val with her homework because she's got her first day of school tomorrow. I'm feeling blue because I'm still thinking about the loss in the family because one of my cousins died and I wasn't able to get Grim to revive them. You guys are saying that in Delhi's series, she like always manages to success 
successfully revive folks. I literally never do. I never ever seem to manage to get my Sims to rev res like successfully. Just does not work for me, which is super frustrating. And also before the end of the day, I'm going to check pets for adoption again so I can check again tomorrow morning too. And I was also thinking because Bowen is like, you know, has this interest in science and, you know, has always been like, have all these really good character values. I know he's been a bit of a struggle teen right now, but what is your current school grades? You're a C student. I'm going to try and up his grades as much as possible. I really want to see if I can get him into a good school just because I really feel like, like all my kids are amazing in different ways. I feel like Rain and Iris are a bit more like creatively brained. I feel like Iris is really enjoying art at the moment and Rain like is really enjoying the guitar stuff. He's feeling fine right now. Emotionally mindful. Well done. Whereas Bowen is a lot more like academic. So I sort of feel like he would do well going to like, you know, a specialist school. So I'm going to try and get his grades up so that once he ages up into a teenager, I can start applying for some good schools for him. He is going through a distant phase though and prefers to be alone. And Iris is going through a mean streak. Oh my gosh, teenagers. Teenagers are such hard work. Like my sweet, loving, usually easy children are turning into, quite frankly, little nightmares. Great game. Played on stream recently and I really enjoyed it. Also, guys, please don't just leave your homeworks on the table. You didn't even finish your homework. You've got to finish your homework too. Okay, now that Val is a little bit older, I need to give Val like an older room because this is still a toddler's room. So once we finish the pet adoption, I will at least check out the pets. I will go ahead and give her a bit more of a grown room. You guys were all suggesting, also suggesting some cha- Oh, are they, is that a Shetland? Oh, it is a little Shetland sheepdog. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Wait a minute. Oh, it's called Taz. Oh, I have to kind of low-key adopt it because it's called Taz. But I said I'd save myself for a golden retriever. Oh, look at little Huey. If one doesn't become available tomorrow, I might just do it in cast instead and take a thousand pounds out there. Oh, it's 200 actually. But then I guess I'd be buying from a breeder. So maybe I should do a thousand pounds instead. If one doesn't appear tomorrow, I'm going to buy one from a breeder and just add it via cast instead. Okay, Taz, I'm really sorry. I would have loved to adopt a little Taz puppy. But we have a hard set on golden retriever because they are the happiest dogs, it is known. So let's go ahead and do your room. Val. The toddler stuff sure is cute, but I think we're done for toddlers. I can't imagine us having another toddler now, so I'm quite happy to forever sell this stuff rather than like keeping it for another baby because I think we're all done. We're almost elders. There's probably not going to be another baby in the house for a while. Forever. Maybe forever. I don't know. Depends what these kids keep getting up to in school, doesn't it? So I'm going to move the science kit in here because um, Bowen actually can't use that anymore. I don't know why there's not a teen one because I feel like it makes perfect sense, but yeah, I'm going to move that one in here. Wait, is there just a regular science kit I can give Bowen? Do I have like any of the original? Oh, I do have some cool science things if he was interested. Yeah, why not? He's shown an interest in science. And science does run in our genes. In fact, the first ever sim I ever played with in Not So Very was, of course, Minzy, our mint sim. And she was a scientist. So I have some cool things because of her, which I think we should kind of keep in the family. And you've got this cool bones thing under your bed here. You've got this it's like cell structure, which I think makes more sense than the pirate sign. I do have a chemical analyzer. And I do have a chemistry lab, which is locked. Like this is annoying because I have done level four of the sciences career, but for some reason it is locked. However, you can use BB, ignore gameplay, unlock, send entitlement. There we go. Now I should be able to grab it. And I think ages ago for saffron i had a cheat which meant that anyone could use it and you didn't need to be locked into the career i don't know whether that cheat is still active or not like it's a long time since i've played with it but we'll give it a go do you think that little science kit works if it's underneath the bunk bed i really hope it does i want to fit an activity table in there but i think if i put this here instead of the lamp i don't think they'd be able to get through there let me try it. Let me try it. Okay, let's see if she can go here. Okay, she's going. <laughs> she's going that way to get there. How about if you go here? Okay, but you can access the doll ho doll's house. Can you still access this? <gasps> you can. Okay, you're gonna have an unconventional entry to your bedroom for a while, but I don't want to force her into science in case she does still want to draw stuff. So I'm gonna give her both options. However, for now, you're absolutely gonna have to be heading to sleep, okay? And yeah, whatever cheat I used to have that meant anybody could understand the chemistry lab, I don't have anymore. I don't know if the cheat has stopped working. Sorry, the mod. So I will look into that again because I like the idea of him still being able to science, you know? Right, stinky teens, do some washing before school tomorrow, please. Oh, wait, she can't get to bed. Oh, no. Okay. My plan has not worked. Oh, it was the science lab. The things that you can and can't put under here, like, kind of low-key annoy me. Because, like, surely that could fit under there. It's so diddy. Like, that fits under, like, so fine. That should be totally viable, but I don't think it's going to work. 
Yeah, it doesn't work. Ah! Okay, there's no point in having a bunk bed then. Okay. Oh, a new solution instead. There we go. And Bowen, are you not choosing to sleep anymore either? Please don't tell me all bunk beds have just broken. No, you are. Okay, you're sleepy. I love how preteen he looks. Like his little narrow shoulders and his skinny frame. Like he looks so different to Rain anyway, but also he has this like little skinny preteen build. And I like it because it makes him look so young, which is like exactly what we want. Why do you have secret eggs Benedict hidden in your inventory? I do not know. And Iris is still doing her homework? Can we uh, help her out, please? Because she's been doing this for hours. I don't know why. Oh, it's because she's doing extra credit work. Bless her. Oh, yes. The other thing you guys were suggesting is that I actually give Rain a bit of an upgrade to his house. You guys were suggesting entry from outside, but I'm right at the edge of my lot, so I couldn't really do that very easily unless I tried to do something here, maybe. But... Yeah, maybe give him a double bed and a bathroom, which I think is very valid. So yeah, we will work on that today too. Right, Iris, you head to bed as well, Babs. God, end up having himself a little, a little happy evening drink. Why not? Why not? And oh my gosh, you're still thinking about babies. I reckon she could have another one. I reckon she could like quite happily have another baby and like she'd be so fine with it. He is like literally serenading her right now. It would pause her and stop her becoming an elder. But I don't know, guys. I really don't think I want another baby. Like, no, 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 no. And this is the nice thing about all the kids being spared. You can go outside and react to the first snow. The first snow? Are we in winter? Are we almost in winter? Oh, we are close to winter. Okay. We're in the... Are we in the first day of winter? Or is it just snow? Wait, winter is here. I think... I think we're almost in winter. Oh, wow. And it's going to be snowy in our neighborhood. Okay, that's nice. I'm excited for that. Man, I wish we had their yard. Okay, don't let yourself get all romantic just because it's the first snow. I know. I know. You can woo-woo, but no try for pregnancies, okay? You do want to woo-woo. But the good thing is now, if I go to um Gordon on like Liv's panel... <gasps> Liv cheated on Gordon. Oh my gosh, it literally knows. It literally knows. But you guys are meant to be using protection, right? No, guys, you can't. You are using protection. I made you do that. I made you do that. Perceived as basic looking. What? They're just we were win. Oh, guys, I can't have another baby. I'm not having another baby. I actually refuse. You guys said you were using protection. I made it so I had the conversation. I had a conversation about it. I'm not having another baby. So that's that. No, you rats. Why did you use that? I told you to do protection. You literally had a whole conversation about this. Can I? Okay, we're not, no, you need like plan B or something, babes. We're not doing this. Go to the wonderful store right now. No more babies. No more babies are happening in this house. I refuse to allow it. I actually refuse to allow it. Birth control. It's too late for that. That ship has sailed. But, oh, that's useful. Oh my gosh, why have I never bought that before? This stops like all the, when they get sad from being on their cycle and stuff. Oh my gosh, yes. Get sterilization surgery. No, she would never do that though. Why didn't Gordon do that? I should totally have done that. And get to the doctor just to make sure. I'm literally crossing all my T's and dotting all my I's because I just do not want this. No. No, 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 no. Rain, why are you up at 3 a.m.? From activity withdrawal. You need to get your blood pumping. Okay, you can lift some weights. I will allow it. And, oh, it's Harvest Fest. Um, wait, that's going to stop them all going from school. No, cancel that holiday. <laughs> I, I like them going to school. I want grades up. Class in two hours, brilliant. Liv has started going to the doctor and decided to start using hormonal birth control. She may experience some side effects. Okay, please tell me we caught it in time. I think we've definitely done things way too late. No, guys, we weren't doing the holiday anyway. It's fine. Don't worry about that. I'll still cook you a Harvest Fest meal. I'll, I'll go through like all of the process, but I don't want a day off school and work when I want promotions and grades up, okay? And do we have any side effects? I actually thought, well, she's feeling gloomy, but I thought she would be quite sad about doing like anything against fertility, you know? I just thought that she would do that anyway. And uh, she's supposed to be at work in five hours, but I'm using up all of my holiday days. So let's take a vacation day. I still get paid. And uh, then let's also serve a nice breakfast for the farms. Let's do spinach frittata, yes. And everyone in the house is cold. I think this is our first winter in this house. So I'm gonna buy a thermostat. This is gonna mean our bills are going up, but the household finances are in a pretty good place right now. So I'm not too worried. Let's go ahead and make the house nice and warm for everyone. And I was like, who is this child? But it's actually just a gnome. Okay, let's get rid of those. Okay, so first day of school for Val. Everyone's really hyped about the central heating. <laughs> I know why it's taken me so long to put it in the house, but people are really happy about that. Oh my gosh, these freaking gnomes everywhere. They look like children. And since I'm currently freaking out about the fact that we may be growing one, it's not ideal. Okay, let's unpack this birth control box and we're just gonna double up. It's a terrible idea. Don't do this in real life, especially without your doctor saying it. But I'm gonna take a pill as well. Would you like to donate to charity? Yes, because Gordon's lovely and it helps his political cause. He is at work in half 
an hour as well. We had, like, look at Liv. Always cooking delicious breakfast for everyone on a morning too. And we're going to do one final check of... Oh my gosh, did you not go to sleep last night? One final check of puppies. And then I'm going to go into cast and do it instead. Okay, let's get you studying hard. Let's get you... Why don't you meet some friends? Because it's your first day of school, Val. Gordon is working hard. And Rain, you don't get to just sit at home doing nothing all day. Oh my gosh, look at the improvement in Iris from this and this to this getting better she's kind of painting androids but she's getting better oh but you can't just sit and chit chat with your mom all day either why don't you try writing some songs i feel like you could make it as like a songwriter so i still don't have oh i can lull things to sleep though oh my gosh no I just lull your mom to sleep although you know what she's actually tired okay lull her to sleep and in fact while she's asleep and there's no one else at home we are meant to have a few more exes so i think i should do that who am i currently dating Okay, I'm dating Ashley. I broke up with Brandon. Mackenzie, who you guys think I'm related to, but I think it's a different Mackenzie, Mackenzie Harris. I think it's just the name that's the same, but that Mackenzie's like probably an elder or dead at this point. And Samia, who never loved his back. And then, oh my gosh, we also flirted with our little sister as friend. Okay, so I'm gonna invite over Ashley and Mackenzie so I can do some heartbreaking. Oh my gosh, oh. both of them just here, super awkward. And Gordon oversees Kato's preparation for the big donor dinner. On Pump final inspection, he realizes nobody bought vegetarian cuisine. Farmer's market or order more ice cream? No, it sucks when there's not proper food. So let's dash to the farmer's market. <gasps> we collected some donations from the cause at the same time. Yes, don't just give us ice cream. We all want real food, you know? Okay, the girl's coming straight downstairs. This is perfect. They've come down to watch me play guitar. I'm still gonna break up with you though. Okay, Mackenzie, you're first. You're playing, oh my gosh, are they both? Were they both any only ever just with me for my gaming devices? Wow, I thought you loved me, but you just love my Xbox. Awkward. Okay, let's go ahead and break up with you first. It's not giving me the option for a mean breakup with her. So instead, I'm just going to ask to be friends. It's playing like very perfect music for this moment. Uh, then Ashley, can I do a mean breakup with her? Yes, I can. Okay, brill. Okay, well, that doesn't feel like you're about to break. Don't mess with the heads like that, you know? I need X status. Wait, are we not doing that? You want to do the mean one first. Okay, you're more excited for the mean breakup. Great, great, great. You've actually got a lot of satisfaction points. I'm, I'm doing a good job with him. <laughs> No, stop oh, kissing them first. Or oh, you want to do it in front of them. You want everyone to see. Okay, great, great, great. I'm not sure if you deserve this extension to your room, if I'm being honest, Rain. And let's watch this unfold, because I think it's going to be painful. Wait, what are you doing now? You want all of them in the same conversation at the same time? No, you now you want to break up with her first. Okay, so she got the nice breakup, and she got the mean breakup. Oh, did he just do a little... Bye, it's over. Which means I now have the X status. Wait, shouldn't I have it with three Sims at this point? What? Why don't I have it with three? Just friends. Oh, wait, do I have to properly break up with them? Do I have to do a mean break up to be an X? Otherwise, they're not Xs. Because I will, I will do this again. This just feels like overly drawn out and mean now. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to be friends. We just want to be friends. But I will dedicate a song to you on my guitar. And, you know, I do still think you're super pretty. And like, why are you messing with the heads like this? Game, why are you forcing me to do this? Okay, so now I'm dating again. Game, why did you make me be so cruel? And now, actually, now that we're dating, really, I don't want to date anymore. But look, it's not letting me break up. Why is it doing this? And I'm gonna give the cold shoulder. Just the emotional pain I'm going through right now, or I'm causing. Break up. Okay, now we should be exes. He's like, you know what, actually, having a girlfriend sucks. I actually don't want us to be girlfriend or boyfriend anymore. <laughs> Goodbye, it's over. His mom is just like, wow, you need to move out, right? I think it's time for you to learn a hard, few hard lessons of life. There we go, three out of five. And therefore, grow up a little bit, you know? Grow up just a little bit, because he still wants to make out with her. Yeah, his mom's come over for a little chat. Oh, a hug. Wow, you really will coddle him no matter what, won't you, Liv? Okay, please, can you get all your exes to leave? Because I need to use the PC. And it's the same puppy. Okay, fine. We're doing it. We're going into class. Okay, golden retriever. The happiest, cutest dog breed in the whole world. Like literally whenever you walk past one of these, you can't help but smile. I also feel like the Sims dog eyes are always really small. So I find myself always making them a little bit bigger. I don't know, like that feels more doggy size eyes to me. And we always do the eyes the same color as the gen. But I don't know if blue eyes on a golden retriever is kind of scary. What about if I go dark blue? Ooh, even then it's kind of intense. Okay, that I can just about get away with. So we're gonna have a little purple room. Ah, uh, so fuzzy and cute. And golden retrievers are 
friendly. What else shall I make it? Ali had a golden retriever growing up. His was really cheeky. So I kind of want to make it sort of like a bit of a troublemaker. Also, it will give Liv something to do. And I feel like they're really hairy. So I think I'm going to make it hairy as well. Their fluff seems to get everywhere. And I think they can smell quite easily if you're not careful too. So there we go. Little golden retriever puppy. And I'm going to call it. What I want it to do is... Oh, you know what I've just realized as well? Are you definitely a berry? No, you're a Luna. You all should be berries. So that's a big error. What I wanted to do with the adoption is I wanted to adopt the toddler version of Minzy. And then we would kind of like start the cycle all over again. I won't actually play them all again, but it would just be nice because then the whole series would basically be a loop and like a time loop. I don't know. I thought that could be kind of cool. But I didn't end up doing that. I ended up just, you know, adopting a random sim, which I think is fine. So I think instead we still pay homage to the original Jen. And instead we call our dog Minzy. So we'll do a little homage this way instead. So Minzy Berry is reborn again. In fact, as soon as I say that, I want to change the eye color. And I want to make the eyes like mint, like this. The actual mint is here and I can't click it because the stupid bug in cast. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't click the eye color that I want. Maybe I do this instead for mint. I know it's not ideal, but it's the closest I can get because my stupid thing is off the screen. Wait, what about if I just temporarily change my UI? There we go. Okay, let's do that. And then I can do dark mint. Oh wait, it would have been that color anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. If you ever wonder why I have such a big UI, by the way, it's because I feel like when I watch on mobile, it's quite difficult to be able to see all of the text. So if you guys are ever watching my videos on mobile, I have my UI set big for you guys. So you can see everything when you're watching. There we go. Little puppy Minzy Berry. And here is what is hopefully the only new addition to the family today. I don't want anything else. Okay, just, just this baby. This is the only baby. This cold little baba actually that we need to bring inside. I know you're feeling sad right now, but you can't feel sad when there's a puppy around, okay? Even if you have just watched what your overbearing parenting has just done to rain, which would make anyone sad, so understandable. Let's go ahead and bring this little cheeky bum inside. And I don't know where the dog bowl has gone. The dog bowl has gone walkies. So let's go ahead and rebuy that and maybe some chew toys since I did get a mischievous pet. Gonna put a little dog bed here. Let's pop it against there. And a little chew. There we go. She's like, oh, love. It's not a cat. It's a, it's a dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, she loves it already, though. That's cute. And kids, meet the newest additions to the family. We have a little puppleroo. Don't worry about your homework for now. See puppy first, okay? Puppy first, homework second. There we go, look. Little puppy baby saying hello. We got some little tail works. I think it likes you. I think it likes you, Val. Okay, she's a little nervous. But don't forget, it's going to feel really win weird saying Minzy. Minzy is a friendly puppy, so she should get on with everyone. Iris saying hello to you. Little cutie. I feel like you've not invited your friends home for a few days. So maybe you should invite some friends home this evening. And obviously you want to Instagram it, but you actually just want to Instagram your own uncles. Okay, interesting. Let's invite over Christy, who was our previous friend, but we're kind of not as close with now. And then Rosemary, who we've become like fast friends with. <gasps> and Gordon got promoted. Gordon, you little... Oh no, don't clean the shower. Go take a shower. Gordon, you little clever bumpkin. What do you know? You are a charity organizer. You can now get $200. $50 donations. You've got new clovies. Hopefully we'll stop wearing this ugly outfit now. And you're now level seven, but you need to collect $1,500 in donations. Oh my gosh. Can I collect donations from teenagers? <laughs> that feels immoral. Don't do that. <gasps> and it's Iris's last year in high school. You need to do your academic aptitude test. And then Bowen, I think, only has one day left of being a preteen. So I need his grades up so I can try and get him into a good uh, university. Sorry, a good high school. Oh my gosh, please stop thinking of babies. I think I've avoided it. I think somehow I've gotten away with it. But time will tell, time will tell. Okay, and we're trying to do the thing where, like, I've made new friends, but I'm trying to, like, you know, introduce my new friends to my old friends and, like, hope that it's not awkward. That's basically what's happening. So I will talk up my new friend to my old friend so that I'll like, or my old friend to my new friend so that it's less awkward. Oh, and for some reason, Rain is joining us. Rain, no. Especially since Rain had like a... Rain thinks Christy is attractive. <gasps> Christy is now a young adult though. So technically, she's not off limits. 
She is not off limits, so he could chat with her if he wants to, much the annoyance of Iris. Oh, so she definitely was a little bit older than us then. I feel like she'd kind of be his type as well, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, where'd they gone? I don't know if he's her type. This is the thing. Especially since you didn't even bother getting changed today. You're literally just in your pajamas. But he showered today, which for Rain is a big deal. You guys said that because he's a slob, he won't choose to like shower himself. Oh my gosh, make a move. Okay. It's also why he was able to relieve his bladder whilst he was like in the shower, you know, <laughs> which I thought was super gross, especially since his bladder was like really low. So to me, that means he needs poop. But uh, yeah, that is uh, a thing that he can do as a slob sim. Is Minzy okay? Let's check on her. Why don't we see if she needs to go toilet? Let's do some potties outside so you can avoid seeing this. Or so you can miss seeing this entirely, I guess. Oh my gosh, is this gonna work? Oh my gosh, she's actually allowing it. How are you getting away with this? How is he so irresistible? How can literally no girl resist him? I don't understand. Like, what is it about him? Is it that, like, he lives in his mom's basement? Is it that he's unemployed? Is it that he wears his pajamas all day? Like, what is it that's really appealing? Like, something something she really likes. Something all the girls really like. But I don't see it. I don't get what they're, like, so into. Something is there, though. You guys are going to have to let me know. I think it's this thing as well. Like, he can promise to, like, dedicate a song to them on his guitar. Even though they don't know that he's uh, literally never written a song for me yet. But they don't know that, you know? They're just like, wow, you write songs on guitar? That is so romantic. You are, like, so talented. Talented. And it'll just please part of his plan. And I feel like with where this is going, I should give Rain his basement upgrades, shouldn't I? So you guys suggested that he gets a bathroom down here and a double bed. So I'm going to do a little extension here. Entrance to the bathroom will be here, like here here-ish. If I can get through that, I can just move the Xbox onto here, actually, can't I? There we go. And then this wall will actually come down. Or, like, I'll just do this, actually. But I don't have to do all the wallpapering again. And now he can actually have a double bed. He's actually got a massive, like, his room, compared to all the other kids, is freaking huge. He's also, like, the laziest, you know? He actually works out so much. He's technically not lazy, but he's just not productive, you know? And I'm just gonna buy the bathroom instead of like remaking a whole bathroom. And I'll just do some moving around of bits. So there we go. He now has a double bed and a bathroom and a freaking huge room. He needs a rug. Like this room's so big, it needs a rug on the floor, you know? There we go. I've given like a rug here to make this like a section and then like a full animal rug. Maybe it's real known rain. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But why don't you guys come down here and play video games? It's the best seduction technique. Meanwhile, Iris is missing all this because she's really getting into painting at the moment and... I'm kind of enjoying her newfound talent. Bowen unfortunately did have to watch it all and he's not impressed. Have you done your homework? You have, clever pookie, well done. And how are your character values doing? Still smashing them. Conflict resolution is a little bit low. I don't think I can teach you to say sorry anymore though because you are a teenager. But I can ask you about your phase and maybe like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get his conflict up, but it's fine because all of the others are four. This is the most awkward one I find. If I can try and fix any bad relationships, I will do. And oh my gosh, she's just stolen my PC. How dare you? Oh, and I literally, he's hes getting angry. Watching Rain hit on his sister's friend made him so angry that he's like, I don't know what to do. Increase your conflict resolution. Talk it through with someone. There we go. Oh, we decided to work it out anyway. M maybe don't be in Rain's room. I don't think that's going to help. Especially since he's like, look, it turns out I did write you a song on guitar. Here's how it goes. <laughs> Hang out with calm sisters instead. He definitely gets on a lot better with his sisters. And oh my gosh, what's Minzy doing? What troublemaking is happening? You just driving a little mad hour, doing a little run around. In fact, do you want to make yourself useful, Bowen, and take Minzy out? <gasps> Oh, he's just playing with a little squeaker. Oh, no, he wants to. Look, he wants to do an energized workout. He is really like, I need to work through these emotions. Like, I need to figure out a good way to like work through the ball. So he is like, you know, doing a little bit of an, a workout to try and... Um... Oh no, what have we seen now? Did you just walk in on something that you shouldn't have done? Okay, maybe you won't get to use Rain's workout equipment this evening. I don't think he's gonna let you. I think he definitely disrupted Woo's. I'm gonna... Just like, how do I ask about protection? Okay, I'm gonna ask about protection. See if she's brought any because Rain... I don't know if Rain's woo-wooed before. Has he? I can't remember. But it's good to make sure because I don't think he's got any. So we'll just double check on that. And also, I've never asked someone else. I have nothing, okay? So this didn't stop them <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes fertility just doesn't work for me in game. However, if it does happen, then Rain, this is this should be a wake-up call for him. Who's now flopped all over the bed. A definite wake-up call to, that you can't just keep living like this. And maybe after Liv's redemption arc, genuinely, Rain needs a redemption arc of his own, you know? Maybe a 
Wolfie redemption arc. <gasps> and Bowen is trying to hack. Oh my gosh, everyone's playing up. All my children are playing up. They've called Gordon though, so he's like, serious stuff. Please punish him. Hope I've, uh oh, his empathy's down. No! This is one of the times where I'm stopped playing and I just like, I really don't want to stop playing. I'm like, oh, Liv's here. Uh, not Liv. Alicia. Oh my gosh, so many names that are the same. Alicia's here to hang out with me. That's so nice. I'll keep working on my columns. Like, Rain is sleeping off his nonsense on the sofa rather than the bed, probably because he's woo wooed in the bed for like four hours or whatever. So, those sheets need to clean. In fact, I might get a laundry like set for the house so that Liv's got more to do during the daytime. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. We do have a little puppy to look after now as well. And I don't know if Rain's actions are going to have finally caught up with him. <laughs> We'll see. We'll save that for the next episode. And I also know there's a new werewolf pack coming out soon. And I know you guys are super keen for Rain to be a character in that. I will also, I want to try, like, I want to see how it feels to transform into a wolf. So I think it'd be quite cool to do that with Rain. But I also want to make a wolf from scratch who's already a wolf. So I might make an original character for that. I really want to see what the wolves look like as like female wolves look like too. So I might make like a female wolf. And then we'll try and like form a little story around those guys. If you want to do that, like, let me know in the comments below and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode we're getting so close to the end now because uh once bowen or actually we could do it with iris as well when she ages up in two days time i heard you and chrissy started dating congratulations on landing a new girlfriend from my ex she can be my girlfriend for long yeah once iris ages up in two days i think i will get liv's final part of her aspiration done for super parent which is this one here which is really hard to do and we didn't manage to do with rain but i think we'll definitely do it with all of our future kids at least these two because they're both really good so fingers crossed gotta keep these three stars nice and high and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching bye